And this is a this is a really good field. But watch for the Olympian to fly out here. Doesn't get better than this. The spectacular start of the men's open ski. Here we go. Watch for the power as they head out over that bank. So watch for the boys to explode here as they head out through. Look at Dan Humble going in the middle of the field, folks. Look at that start from Dan Humble. He is a dead set flying. Dan Humble just looks over his left hand shoulder. That is ski paddling at his best from the big hitter. How does he look on the screen there, True? Because he's motoring down here on the beach. Yeah, look, that was a clinic and how to do a run start on a ski. He kept his ski the straightest when he got in the water. Everyone else had a slight angle, so they're slewing off to the side. Dan, with that power early, uh, and Wes Gould just joining him there, popping over this last little wave. Up we go. And that's great big bounce there. And they're away. Clean set of heels, a long way back to third. So, True, normally when the southwesterlies in, we get to see the guys fly across the apex, right? We get them to see they get the wind at their back. Today, they'll be pushing into a headwind, so it'll be strength all the way until they make the final turn. The Dan Humble out there with Wes Gould at this stage. But that is as good as you'll see. They'll have to work hard here. No assistance across the top of the apex there. But a race in three at the top of the field. Plenty of surf still to come, Truey. Yeah, so look, um, Dan Humble, he's obviously, he's the only ski specialist out there in that top three. Wes and uh, Jack Reddy from City of Perth coming into th uh, second there. They're very good ski paddlers, but they do other stuff as well. So Dan has just got this field to himself, and we're going to see a clinic of power. We know he likes to save it. You watch him just accelerate onto these runs. This is going to be a great race all the way in. So Scott, he always talks about the big 10 to 20 strokes, doesn't he? Dan Hull in all of his big wins, that 10 to 20 strokes across the top now. So he has the wind at his back, Truey. Dan Humble from the Trigger Island Surf Club getting married next weekend. Uh, his big uh, boys night out tonight, but he's on a run. And Dan Humble might, looks like he's going to take out the open ski. Still plenty could happen behind him on the waves, but you would anticipate with all his skill, you can see on the screens for people watching at home, Dan Humble at the front of the field where he loves it, the men's open ski. Yeah, we just see Wes Good pulling onto a wave to catch Jack Reddy. Now, Jack's in trouble here. He's going to get hit by this white water with no speed. Dan Humble already across that inside bank, across that little trough, and super comfortable race there. He can just take his time, stroll up to the finish, and that's uh, great points for Trigg, winning the uh, male and the female ski in pretty fine form. Well done to Dan Hummel, big hand for Dan Hummel. First across the line, race on for second. So, looks like sprint on. Look at Wes Gould go, look at Jack go. Wes Gould powers at home. Well done, Jack. Good racing, Dan Hummel takes it out. Fantastic racing from the big three. Yeah, look, uh, again, a run up for th uh, fourth and fifth there as well. So tight racing. We know these conditions can mess with you on the way out. But again, with all these competitors coming in on one wave, uh, it makes for some great uh, spectacular finishes there. And uh, we saw uh, Dan Humble so comfortable out in front, but uh, Wes and Jack, they had to put the sprint on to see who's gonna get second or third points. Never tell with Jack whether it's a grimace or a smile. Ethan Jackson uh, goes the hip and shoulder as he comes around now. Jack's always got that smile grimace thing going. I'm down here. With, uh, with our camera, and I'll get, we'll wait for the thumbs up here. Good to go. Yes, here we go, and I'm down here with the winner, Dan Hummel. Dan, that was, uh, thanks for letting us watch that. That was pretty specky. That was like watching uh, ski racing at its best. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Simon. Uh, I guess the whole field was lucky there that Steve got DQ'd at the start, so that took the pressure off massively. <laughs> yeah, it sure did. He, he's got a smile on his face now, but I guess he, uh, he is a competitor like you. Um, just, you just went straight at the can, straight out there. A little bit different with the northwesterly coming across. You know, that's normally where you put in that big 10, 20 strokes with the sea breeze. Not to be today, a bit more strength required. Yeah, absolutely. It's tough going out through that bank. And uh, I think, you know, the young girls and young boys who are giving skis a go for the first time have done really well today. So it's great to see. Uh, this, uh, this format, WA Surf League, still a beauty, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. I just love racing for the club. You know, it's a great opportunity for the young ones. And I think, you know, Surf Life Saving WA needs to be commended for their funding of not only this, but also the national series, because last week was a huge opportunity for so many. And I think, you know, the young kids really benefited from it. And because of that, you know, everyone else who's, you know, on the cut wanting to make the teams in the future go for it, because you'll learn so much and have a great time. Well done, Dan. Well said. Now, big day for you coming up next weekend. We have to ask you, you got yourself a new set of cufflinks or some new cologne, got the suit organised, got the speech organised? Uh, not the speech just yet. Keras might kill me for that one, but, you know, it's a work in progress. But, yeah, big weekend today, I guess, for this afternoon with the boys and then next week with the family and friends. So, 
Yeah, it's a great summer really and I'm really thankful for the opportunities that we've both been given and for our friends and family, so it's a good one. Sure, it's a big summer for you, a memorable summer, a memorable race for all of us who got to see it at home, watching it on the screen and down here at the beach. Well done, mate. Fantastic. Thanks, Simon. Have a great day, everyone.